Congratulations, you've clicked on a family-friendly video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you many things that are very family-friendly and are definitely monetizable on this platform called YouTube. We are going to be discussing how to teach, educate, family-friendly voice acting, hobbies. All right, have they gone? Okay, this is my copy of Mother Knows Breast. This is my favorite. Henty. Uh, we're going to get into it. First off, let's talk about what we're going to be doing today. I've hand-selected four fantastic Henty. to dub over and fix. And if you haven't watched this video series before, essentially what I've done is scour the web a lot for these clips <sighs> to fix. Back when they used to dub animation, there wasn't really a budget for it. So a lot of the clips have turned out pretty goddamn awful. More often than not, when you watch something that has terrible voice acting, it isn't often the voice acting itself that is just the problem. So today we're gonna be redubbing four clips to find out truly if voice acting is the problem. And these clips are beginning with Duchess of the Busty Mounds. You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. Milk money, because of course. My entire existence was centered around sucking on those massive memories. And there's also a very wholesome one called Darling. Oh, it's working. And finally, we have Lover in Law. Yes. You shouldn't have to f yourself. You saw me get off? Yeah, it's just sad. And those are the four clips that we'll be fixing today. Viewers of the series will know these rules already, but one more time. We cannot change any of the animation. That includes lip flaps. Two, we are not allowed to change the script in any way. We have to redub the lines the exact way that the actors did. And number three, we will try our best to get as close to the original with the sound effects and music. With these rules in place, we'll know that once we fix the voice acting itself, if the clip still sucks or is jank or is awkward, there's probably something else at play here. You might have noticed that all the voice actors in this video are not actual voice actors. Some of them are YouTubers, some of them are just internet personalities or even VTubers. And this is for two reasons. One, I think it's cool to have a bit of variation with who you bring on and not just get all voice actors. And number two, believe it or not, the original animation, when they dubbed it, they would sometimes pick people off the street, bring them into the booth and make them voice the lines. I'm not kidding. That is 100% true. I have that confirmed. I don't think voice acting is easy by any means, but I do think that with a good director, a lot of people can suddenly become a lot better voice actors. And I'm not patting myself on the back. I don't think I'm that good of a director. I just think that I know my friends well enough where I think I can get a good take out of them. I'm sure you're sick of me talking about lovely animation. Let's go to the voice actors. Hi there. My name is Alex Lee. I'm the English voice actor of Agatsuma Zainsu and the Devil of Demon Slayer. Uh, Kazuya and Rent a Girlfriend, Kaimen and Doro Hedoro, and many more. Let's dub some hentai. And her senior, who Miyuki looks up to. The stage is a secluded park. All right, yeah, I like that, but can we try one more where you're a little more, you know, like selling it a bit? Don't ask me to do anything for you ever again. Hi, I'm Anna. You can follow me on Twitter or on my YouTube channel. It's so lovely to be here with you. I'm so excited. I have like a really royal tone to my voice. Something like that. Does that work? Let me have a quick look at the plot, unfortunately, uh, and see what's going on to see. <laughs> the plot. <laughs> You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. <laughs> it's, it's too good. It's, it's, exa it's exactly what I thought you were going to do, and I still made you laugh. You can find me on Twitter at Elsie Lovelock, or you can find me also on YouTube. I have a channel myself, which is just Elsie Lovelock, so just put it in the search bar, and you'll see me there. Hell yeah. Thanks for watching. So go like, <sighs> Toji. You know, like a... No. Okay. <laughs> Toji, you know, like so you can force your breath into it and be like, <sighs> Toji, <laughs> Toji, Toji, I'm gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emily, for dubbing Henty. with me today. I hope you had fun. And obviously, you can find Emily's YouTube and Twitter here and Instagram. Go follow her and go and watch her. Hello, I'm Iron Mouse, and I am a VTuber from Vishojo and a degenerate. How much Henty. do you watch for these things? A lot? Yeah, a fair amount. Wow, you degenerate. You're worse than me. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? I'm just a terrible accent. <laughs> Is that your American accent? That's my own. Oh, shut the <laughs> f up. No. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? How do I look, darling? Please, please find me on twitch.tv slash ironmouse or uh, youtube.com uh, slash ironmouse party. Thank you. Well, hello. I'm PM Seymour, and I'm about to fix some animation for Sea Dog. It's too dark for anybody in here. 
You know, I've been doing this for 13 years, but never in my life would I have imagined, hey, I'm about to hear Gary Oak say these things out loud, directly into my ear. Hey guys, Patrick Mealy here. If you want to follow me on social media, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram. I don't use it, Instagram that much as Pat Mike VA. You can also find me on my website at patrickmealyvo.com and on my YouTube channel at Pat Mike VA. I feel so bad for the other actors that are probably going to be recording for this because uh, they probably have far worse. Yeah, some, there's some really f awful ones in here. That's like, this is the thing with Henty. They just always, it's either like one minute you hate somebody and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I love you now. Let's bang. And then, yeah, yeah it just gets worse. Honestly, it's pretty tame for what I was expecting for this video, but I guess I'm just used to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was like kind of peaky, yeah. Peaky blinders right there. <laughs> oh, wow, that one sounded violent. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out my stuff. And if you are looking for Henty. recommendations, you're really not gonna f***ing do better than me. Why are you <laughs> threatening them? Why? Don't get the f*** over! It is my turn to record my voice acting. You're probably wondering, Connor, which character are you going to play in one of these fantastic animations? And that's a great question. Um, I didn't really know. Uh, I just kind of decided now that I was going to do this character because I wanted him to sound British. And that's me. I'm British. I drink tea. <laughs> I'm a bit of a chef myself, you know. <laughs> I sound like a f psychopath just sitting here, just laughing, laughing at the big, big old bazonka donks on this woman. But you're probably sick of seeing my face by now. So let's go back to future me. Over half of you aren't subscribed to this YouTube channel. So what are you doing? And go and subscribe already. Yeah, this is really meta, I know. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to the boring section of the video. Boring, I say, because most people aren't interested in editing or audio editing, but I'll try my best to make it fun for you guys. So let's talk about Duchess of the Busty Mounds, uh, a name that will haunt me. <laughs> It'll be pretty busty, yeah. So I'm not sure if this is the original or it's because of the download or what, but the audio sounds like shit. You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. This clip doesn't really have any glaring sound design issues or lip flaps or sound effect ups. It, it's mainly just the voice acting. I would describe the voice acting, uh, what Shrek 3 is to the Shrek series. This is the voice acting. It's not great. It's got a lot to work on. You think you're staying at the Ritz or something? It sounds like there was no direction at all and that everyone was just talking and they kind of threw them all in, hoping that it would sound like they're all in the same room. I also want to try and make all of the accents British because I do think that this kind of setting that's in kind of a, you know, like an 18th, 19th century setting of, oh, master and peasant working in the barn will work very nicely with a nice British accent. Again, I want to remind you when you're doing sound effects that sometimes you might have to layer more than one sound effect on top of each other to get the sound that you want. For example, here, uh, we have a door opening uh, and you would think that's a simple sound. I mean, I have a, I have a door right there that I can just, just open. Uh, but no, I want to make it sound extra chunky. So I have one sound for the door opening, one sound for a squeaking, and one sound for a nice reverb to the door. So I'll play them all individually so you can hear what they sound like. It's not chunky enough, sounds a little too isolated. With a bit of reverb, and then finally with a little squeak to the door. And it's nice, like a nice pie of sound. Our second clip, Milk Money. What a wonderful name. So for this clip, I'm not really gonna do anything drastic other than hopefully just get better voice acting. And hopefully that'll be enough. One thing to note is that sometimes in this original clip, the sound effects are a little off. For example, if you watch this clip here. Oh. For some reason, there's moving sound before anything happens. Listen to this again. No one is moving. What is this? What is this sorcery? So I'm gonna not do that. And then also the sound when it hits gets a little delayed. Oh. Lover-in-law. This clip, again, really simple. I think this is the newest of all the clips, so I do think this one actually sounds the best. My main problem with this one is that the male sounds kind of, uh, not good. You can blame my brother for this. Like, what is that? What is that? Leaving such a beautiful woman as you alone. There also seems to be massive script errors happening, as for some reason at times, uh, the lip flaps don't match what's being said at all. You can blame my brother for this leaving such a beautiful woman as you alone. You could have missed it, but if I show you frame by frame, he starts talking now. One, seven, seven frames of no talking. It's kind of hard to notice if you're just paying attention and if you're probably, you know, busy 
with something in your hand. I am not judging. And even with a new voice actor and trying our goddamn best to fix this line, it just doesn't work. Let me show you. Leaving such a beautiful woman as you alone? We can get close, but we can't fix it due to the fact that they kind of f script. If I was doing this line, I would perhaps rewrite it to say something like, he left a beautiful woman like you all alone. You know, something like that, right? That, that, that's just me spitballing ideas, right? If you actually sat down and tried, you could easily fix this problem. But other than that, no problems. Although, you know, it's a big problem. Honestly, this clip doesn't really have too much wrong with it. I think the voice acting sounds a little stale, but I think we can easily improve that. Anyway, enough of the boring shit. Let's go to the future where we rate our work. And now it is time to review my work. If you do want some serious advice at the end of this, I will try and provide as much quick fire advice as I can about voice acting, productions, and all the stuff that you can do from the comfort of your home. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First of all, let's listen to the original of Duchess of the Busty Mounds. So what do you think of my cooking, Jean? These biscuits are delicious. They remind me of the kind my mother used to make when I was a little boy. Oh, that makes me so happy. I've got to get the recipe from you. I'm a bit of a chef myself, you know. Wow, that's a surprise. I thought only gay boys like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Can we help you? You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. Sorry, my bad. You think you're staying at the Ritz or something? You're not here to chit-chat and play footsie under the table. You're here to take orders and to work till you drop. You got that face? <laughs> yes, we understand. Get your big tits over to the main house and start mopping the floors. I highly recommend watching the original. All of it is so funny and it's so very crude. So if you are over the age of 18, please go and enjoy it. Right, so how are we going to improve that? Let's watch mine and we'll see what we did differently. So what do you think of my cooking, John? These biscuits are delicious. They remind me of the kind my mother used to make when I was a little boy. Oh, that makes me so happy. I've got to get the recipe from you. I'm a bit of a chef myself, you know. That's a surprise. I thought only gay boys like to cook. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Can we help you? You can get your flabby tits off my tablecloth. Sorry, my bad. You think you're staying at the Ritz or something? You're not here to chit-chat and play footsie under the table. You're here to take orders and to work until you drop. You got that f face? <sighs> yes, we understand. Get your big tits over to the main house and start mopping the floors. Oh my god, I love it. I think the voice actors just f***ing killed it. I mean, you know, I mean, no. I think that if the whole show was dubbed like that, I think it would be a lot more enjoyable, at least for me personally. Am I biased because it's my own work? Yes. But I seriously do think if you listen to the original, it does sound like none of these characters are in the same room. And if you listen to this version, it really does sound like all of the characters are playing off each other and they're in the same room. Obviously, it is way easier to nail 40 seconds of voice acting than a whole episode. And I have only selected one section, you know, so keep that in mind. But overall, I do think it is a big improvement. I would say a seven or eight out of 10 in terms of how much we've improved the voice voice acting alone, but this clip really wasn't that bad to begin with. It was just really funny dialogue. And on to the next clip, which is, uh, Milk Money. Just don't like saying that name. All right, the original clip. I can't help it if I've always felt a deep connection to your mother and her breasts. She was my wet nurse and I was her patient. When she left, I felt totally abandoned. I know it's hard for you to understand, but my entire existence was centered around sucking on those massive memories, and then they were gone. It was as though my world was turned upside down. My fun bags were ripped away from me, and the void I felt was immense. Okay, I've heard enough. I understand. But you have to understand how traumatizing it was for me. I had to watch the boy I love stick his rock-hard boner into my mother's cunt, wishing it was me instead. Marika. Oh, Toji. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. It's all in the past now. You are the greatest. Toji, I want you. They went through like the five stages of grief in one second there. What the fuck? Before I show you my clip, I do think that the guy here isn't that bad. Uh, fun fact, it's Professor Oak from Pokemon, by the way. Sorry to ruin your childhood like that. Uh, but I do actually think it's the girl in this clip that just sounds like a robot. I don't really know why. So I'm hoping that with my clip and using the amazing Emerichu, we can fix that. 
I can't help it if I've always felt a deep connection to your mother and her breasts. She was my wet nurse, and I was her patient. When she left, I felt totally abandoned. I know it's hard for you to understand, but my entire existence was centered around sucking on those massive memories. Then they were gone. It was as though my world was turned upside down. My fun bags were ripped away from me. What is the happening? The I felt was immense. Okay, I've heard enough. I understand. But you have to understand how traumatizing it was for me. I had to watch the boy I love stick his rock-hard boner into my mother's cunt, wishing it was me instead. Marka. Oh, Toji. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. It's all in the past now. You're the greatest. Toji, I want you. What the f*** just happened? <laughs> I'm never gonna get sick of hearing that clip. I'm more surprised that Emma Ricci chose to willingly do that. I, I I asked her which clip she wanted to do. She chose that one. That's on her. Just saying, that's not me. That's not me. Sorry to ruin, you know. Despite one or two lines where Emily's audio quality was not as good as I'd like it to be, uh, I think it was actually really good. I, I and I, I really cannot get over how f well Emily killed these lines. You know, Pat has been in every single episode of this series and Pat has just consistently killed it. If you go and watch any of these episodes, you'll notice that Pat kills it. PMC Moore is just a f***ing beast voice acting so i expected him to do well and he did the job exactly like i expected him to but emily isn't a voice actor and i'm really impressed that she managed to just destroy these lines and do actually like a really good performance and deliver one of those lines with a straight face what the f and i genuinely think that we have improved this clip at least by a six or a five i, I think it is actually statistically scientifically improved voice acting thank you stonks next up we have darling the characters are Miyuki, who's in a band club, and her senior, who Miyuki looks up to. The stage is a secluded park. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? How do I look, darling? Oh, it's working! Activate Hyper Erection Mode! I mean, it's not that bad, right? It's not terrible, but I think we can improve it. So I brought in the god himself, Alex Lee, voice of many of your favorite anime characters, uh, to redub this. And I might have added a little something something to spice it up a little bit. Let's listen. The characters are Miyuki, who's in a band club, and her senior, who Miyuki looks up to. The stage is a secluded park. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? Darling? <laughs> uh, it's working! Activate Hyper Erection Mode! Ah! <laughs> it's so f***ing extra. I think it's fair enough to break my own rules once in a while if it means that it's funny, right? <laughs> Okay, okay, guys, I may have cheated, all right? I may have totally broken all of my rules, but was it not worth it? Was it not worth that epic moment? I think we definitely improved it, and I think this scene would have been a lot better if it ended a little something like that. So I do think that we improved this one a fair amount. I could have easily have left the ending to be the original, but honestly, it wouldn't have changed much anyway. The audio is still the same. I just added a bunch of over-the-top effects to it just to make it funny. There really wasn't much to improve anyway, but I would give it like a four or maybe a five improvement for this clip. And finally, we have lover in law. Oh, illegal. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the original. Ugh, asshole! I can't believe you did that. What if Shikiki finds out about us? You can blame my brother for this, leaving such a beautiful woman as you alone. If I were him, I would never leave your side. I would always be with you. Plus, you shouldn't have to f yourself. Can you get off? Yeah, it's just sad. I'd be happy to bang you, if you want. What? I really what? want you to, but I'm afraid that if we do, I'll get hung up on you. Hey, that's fine with me. <gasps> um, well, uh, you know, it's not bad, but it's not good either. So I think we can improve this one. So let's listen to what we did uh, using some better voice actor and hopefully a bit better direction. Uh, asshole! Can't believe you did that! 
What if Shikiki found out about us? You can blame my brother for this! Leaving such a beautiful woman as you alone? If I were him, I would never leave your side. I would always be with you. Plus, you shouldn't have to f*** yourself. You saw me get off? Yeah, it's just sad. I'd be happy to bang you, if you want. Well, I really want you to, but I'm afraid if we do, I'll get hung up on you. Hey, that's fine with me. I really do think that both of them just killed it and they both sound exactly like the characters should sound. And when you add in a bit of direction and someone who really cares about making it sound good, it will actually sound good. Like, I, I could genuinely watch that. I thought that was fantastic. I really do think, even though the original wasn't that bad, when you have really good voice acting put into it instead, you can really see how far it can go. And I really do think this one has improved a whole lot. Whether you think so at home, I don't know. I personally think this is easily like an eight or a nine improvement. So I'm curious, did you think that I improved all these clips? If so, how much did you think I improved? Wait, I've been lying to you this whole time. You're probably wondering what, Connor? How have you been lying to us? You've been giving us fantastic advice and fantastic entertainment value. The original clip that I showed you for Darling wasn't the original clip. I'm sure the degenerates out there knew that. Well, well yeah, we watched the fixed version, Connor. No, I, I fixed it twice. I did this on purpose. The original clip is this one. The characters are Miyuki, who's in a band club and her senior, who Miyuki looks up to. The stage is a secluded park. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? How do I look, darling? So yes, I lied to you. I, in fact, did redub this twice with different actors. In fact, the one that I said was the original to you guys is only played by one actor who is doing both the female and the male character in it. Hey guys, uh, it's Nevin Schluter here. Uh, you may also know me as Boba TVA. Uh, I, you've seen me a few times on this channel, uh, doing some fire videos, doing some lolly screams, but we're gonna try something a little different today. The characters are Miyuki, who's in a band club. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Can you do one where you're kind of a bit more enthusiastic about it? Miyuki, Miyuki. Are you ready to start working then, Miyuki? <coughs> That's the same guy. Why did I do this? You're probably wondering. I don't really have a good reason. I just thought it would be fun to kind of troll you guys a little bit uh, and show that most of you will just believe whatever I show you to be the original clip. In fact, the clip that I showed you to begin with, I kind of made it out to seem quite weak when in actuality, I don't think it's that bad. Obviously, it's very hard to portray both characters yourself, but I still think it's pretty good. The point of this was is that, in my opinion, I think that all three dubs of Darling are pretty decent. That includes the original and the two that I made to trick you. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I do think I slightly exaggerate how bad the clips are in the video, but I kind of need to do that to get across my point and how we can actually improve them. As most of the time when you're watching stuff with bad voice acting, it's just kind of a bunch of things that are meh and you don't really know how to pinpoint it. And I want to do this video to kind of explain that, but also just have a good time. So don't believe everything that you see online and form your own opinion. And speaking of, I am genuinely curious to think, did you guys think that we improved these clips as much as I did? Did you think I improved them even more, even less? I am really interested to know and I won't get offended if you think I made any of them worse. I'm not going to be offended by that. I'm a big boy now. No tears for me. Where are my huggies? <laughs> and before we finish this video, I have a bit of an info dump on the history of why Henty dubs are so bad. I reached out to Yara Naika, who produces modern Henty dubs and is also the main character in Itadaki Seiki, the, the girl in that Henty. Some of you dirty people know what that is. And basically, I just wanted to know why a lot of Henty dubs back then sound as crap as they do. There are a bunch of reasons why a lot of these Henty dubs are pretty bad. And Yara enlightened me on some of those reasons from one of the studios that she's worked with. I found out, for example, that one of the studios used to hire out a Spanish-speaking studio to then dub it in English. So they would translate Japanese into Spanish and then into English. No wonder the clips sound jank. A lot of context is going to be lost and a lot of weird lines are going to be put in place. Also, understandably, a lot of studios back then didn't want to dub this. That's the reason why we don't have a four kids mother knows breast dub unfortunately. So it was often given to studios where quality was optional. But there are so many other minute reasons that we'll probably never find out. And I'm sure the stories are super interesting. And if I ever find them out, I will let you know. I get a lot of questions about equipment. If you are interested in any of my equipment, there are a bunch of Amazon links down below to my recommended equipment for each level of voice actor. If you're a beginner and have no idea what to do and you want to make your own project, honestly, 
just do it. Just go and find the thing that you want to make. Find the sound effects, find the voice actors. There are tons of ways of doing it. You can find voice actors on all of these websites here and you can Google so many royalty-free sound effects and royalty-free music websites. So there is no excuse to not do it. Just go and get whatever editing software you want and just start creating. The best thing you can do is just make. I have never been taught how to do half of this stuff. I never received any voice acting training or coaching until about four years into voice acting. And everything else I know, especially with software, is all self-taught with guides on YouTube. So what are you waiting for? You can just do it all yourself. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Could you imagine if they actually sponsored this? That would be crazy. They're not sponsoring it. I, I, no one will sponsor this video. <laughs> that would be funny though, wouldn't it? So you have no excuses. Go and make something. Honestly, I'll have to stop there because I could talk for hours. I am absolutely just obsessed with voice acting and making projects. It is my burning passion and I'm shutting myself up. So it's the end of the video. <laughs> but let me know what you want me to fix next. More video games, more animation, or more actual anime. Please let me know down below as I'm open to suggestions. I like doing this video series, even if it is a disgusting amount of work and a massive, Massive thank you to all of the voice actors. Really, I couldn't do this video without them and, and they are truly, truly talented people. And I'm so grateful that they're willing to give me my time for this dumb, weird video. So thank you to Alex, Anna, Elise, Emily, Iron Mouse, myself, <laughs> Nevin, PM Seymour, Pat, and Sidsnap. Sydney, of course. Go and check out all their channels. All their links are in the description down below. And, and please do go and follow some of them. They are really talented and all make some amazing stuff on their own channels or their Twitters, social medias. But if you did enjoy this video, please do consider sharing it around. It helps a lot. And please subscribe and stick that bell. Smash it even. And have a good day, my beautiful weebs. Bye!